Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson 4 here playing some more Battlefield 4 for you guys, and this time it's on an island where the dynamic effect is a hurricane or some kind of a big storm because it gets very windy and very like heavy rained in this map, and it's just incredible. It looks pretty badass, by the way. So I like the, the effects on this island, and it's a hell of a map, also. So, uh, so yeah, guys, if you guys want to have a fun experience in first-person shooters. Make sure you guys buy some Battlefield 4. So anyways, let's start talking about the gun that I'm currently using right now, which is the Type 95. A gun that I rarely even use because it's the last gun to unlock. Well, second to the last because the last one I think is the MTAR. So, um, yeah, in this gameplay, by the way, a little bit of an extra information. It is the second time that I used the Type 95. The first time I did like kind of like terrible because uh, I think I went like around 11 and 5. I didn't do pretty well because I ended up, you know, joining in the middle of the match. So um, I ended up unlocking the, the the little red dot side that you currently see right now. And it's a, it is the badass one, which is pretty cool because I thought I was, I was going to unlock the regular one, the little round one, which is kind of sucky, but it's still kind of good. But, uh, you know, I think this one's better, which is pretty good. good. It's a good thing that I unlock it because, you know, I, I see more clearly down the field with this with this side. I don't know about you guys, but I see clearly. Um, but, yeah, yeah, even though I only unlocked one attachment, I did pretty goddamn well. I ended up going 27 kills and 5 deaths. 27. Look at this guy. Look, 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 just fuck. Like, why? Why would the hell would you camp on a fucking squad death match? Like, who the hell does that? Everything's going on. Like, there's a lot of chaos going around you, and you're gonna snipe? You fucking kidding me? Well, you can you can only snipe like if there's like a lot of buildings or like very open areas and stuff like that. But not in this kind of a map. This map is pretty much you know dynamic and freaking extreme rushing and shit it's just pretty pretty insane i like this map so anyways coming back to the type 95 you know i only like one attachment and i did pretty well a uh, pretty well job with it which is pretty much insane because i only tested it out twice and goddamn, you know i'm pretty much convinced i can do a hell of a job with this weapon so i can probably go like around 30 kills for the first time ever here in battlefield 4 in squad deathmatch and right here i got killed by a noob i think somebody grenaded me i don't know what the hell happened so anyways yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give a big chance to the Type 95, man. It looks pretty impressive. It looks pretty much well done. It looks pretty much accurate from down the field. A lot more accurate than my uh, SG553 setup. And uh, the SG553 was actually pretty much well done for short range battles. But this one, the, the Type 95, even though it has a high rapid fire, I think it's still good for both ranges, which is hip firing and long range. You should be able to see some of that going on here in the gameplay on, on your screen. And um, at some point, I think I had like a big chain of kills. It was pretty much insane. It was pretty much from uh, medium range to long range. You should be able to see like in a few minutes right now. So uh, anyways, I suggest to start working up that freaking carbine uh, section because it is incredible. Every single gun is incredible. It's just that you got to find the right attachment for them. If you don't, you're pretty much going to call it lame ass guns, but they're not lame. You can actually find a way to make them good. And that's what I'm going to do, guys. Remember, that, like, in the next few weeks, guys, I will be working on best class setups for Battlefield 4. And um, I'll be testing out different guns. And hopefully, I can find the best attachment for them. So, I can show you guys the best attachment. So, you guys can head out into Battlefield and own everybody out there like I'm doing right now. I mean, like, come on. That's incredible. And I'm playing with lame teammates. Well, some of them are actually good. Some of them are actually are, are doing their job and stuff. But I, uh, like most of the time, they're pretty much looking like the, like a freaking AI or something. So, uh, anyways, yeah, it's a hell of a gun, guys. Just work up that carbon rifle division, and you should be able to lock the Titan Ray Five like like in maybe like in five days, depending on how long you play it like per day. If you play like more than five hours, then you can probably unlock it like around three days or something, because you're pretty much a maniac working uh, playing for five hours in this freaking game. That's insane. <laughs> and here's like a bunch of campers check this out freaking three kills in a row freaking insane kill assists kills 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 and that's just some random ass shit heads uh, headshots and shit that's why i'm getting like shitloads of points and look at this long range i'm telling you guys with only the red dot side with no grip no foregrip no freaking quick draw grip no nothing and it's still a hell of a gun now here's a very long range situation it didn't pretty much work so 
from that distance, we pretty much need foregrip or some kind of a thing that, uh, that allow us to take out the enemy from long range, which I'm thinking maybe adding the long barrel or maybe adding just the foregrip and maybe work with that. But I don't know. It seems pretty weak and pretty much inaccurate when it comes down to very long range battles. So uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about the about the about the freaking long barrel or the compensator, depending on what the hell is going on with this weapon. Uh, I'll choose later on, guys, and I'll show you guys which is the best attachment. But I need to unlock more stuff because right now I just barely have one attachment. I did a hell of a job with it, but I know I can do better if I add some more. Um, hopefully. I can test out with the silencer pretty soon because that's one thing I really want to test out each gun with. Now that I found out the freaking SG553 did a hell of a job, might as well just add it to every single gun see if they work. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it'll be a, it'll be a badass test. It will be it will be a fun test. I'm not really complaining about it, but uh, you know, hopefully I can find a way I can make these guns better because I know most of you guys are switching over from Call of Duty and uh, you know are trying to figure out which is the best weapon. Well, I think the best division right now. I think it's the carbon rifles. I mean, I tested out every single one of them because I actually, you know, tested out the first one and the second one, the third one. I just went like that step by step and I just kept on liking the next one that I just, you know, I play with every single gun and I know which one's best for what. So um, it is a badass division and I think you guys should really level up that division. It's just insane. It works for every single class mode that you play in. Like, for example, you play support, the carbine rifle division will be there. You play freaking recon, it will be there also. You know, it's just in, in every single division, which is pretty cool compared to Battlefield 3, where, where some of the guns were actually available for you. And uh, most of the time it was just the UMP or some SMG, you know, and that's all they had in Battlefield 3. But it's nothing compared to Battlefield 4. I'm telling you guys, you can actually have assault rifles in every single freaking uh, class, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that's why you see me with the spawn beacon and everything, you know, putting it down. Why, when you guys remember that Battlefield 3, if you had the spawn beacon or, or the uh, the radar, the sonar, or whatever it's called, you know, you were only allowed to be carrying an SMG or something like that. But now you can carry an assault rifle, which is pretty cool, so, which is pretty good. So, uh, it's pretty much different, guys. Don't you think this is not, this is not the same as Battlefield 3 at all? So, uh, hopefully that changed your mind, guys, and hopefully you guys switched over to Battlefield 4 because it's a hell of a game. Um, and anyways, yeah, I did a hell of a job in this gameplay also. So, um, I'll be working on, on this best class setup on the Type 95 for the next few days. And hopefully I figure it out so I can show you guys how to play with a Type 95. And yes, it will take you a while to unlock this gun because it's almost a second to the last. So yeah, it's going to take you guys a few days. So, um, anyways, uh, hopefully you guys like the video, like the gameplay and stuff like that. 27 and 5, incredible score. And, um, yeah, pretty much it, guys. So I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day, guys.